Lead line doors are specifically used in shielding application primarily in the medical, defense, and industrial fields as installation and construction of these doors require some specialized skill, utmost care should be taken while applying such doors. It acts as a shield in X-ray room to prevent any gamma radiation emission. The entire wall and door should be shielded against radiation. As lead is cost-effective and relatively easy to manufacture, it is used in almost all methods of shielding to protect against gamma radiation. Such type of door is built with lead installed inside the frame for protection. The material should be penetrated such that there are no voids and the door does not suffer from any twisting or warping and at the same time stands at par with the appearance of the other doors. There is a radiation physicist who determines the lead thickness in the door. The construction of a common lead line door involves a continuous lead sheet placed in the center of the core. This type of core is known as split core. Two separate core assemblies are built with a thickness of as the normal. The lead is placed between these two core assemblies and bolted together around the edges. The lead in the center make the door more balanced, essential for long and sustained installation. These lead line doors have 20 minutes of fire rating selection of the hardware is another essential feature of a lead line door to be taken into consideration which includes higher door weight and continuous use of lead sheet. Hinges used should be chosen thoughtfully to support the heavy door weight. Pivot hinges may be the right choice as they are the chosen and trusted few for such high weight doors. These lead line doors are the specimen of craftsmanship and quality to deliver the strongest and highly functional lead line doors possible. There are two types of lead line doors. Wood lead line doors, which consists of lead sheet between two solid wood cores with the lead sheet of same thickness as the door. These are then fastened using steel bolts 1 minus 1 half inches in depth from the edges and distanced 8 inches from the center both horizontally and vertically. The bolts are then sunk into the wood and lead poured on the nuts and heads of the bolts. Then veneer is applied on the core and hardwood edge strips are used to match the face veneer. Hollow metal doors are manufactured of a 16 gauge steel with a lead core sheet full size of the door supported by 16-gauge steel brackets to prevent sagging or flowing of the lead. The exterior of the door is coated with a sharp finish of primer for outside finishing in contrast with other colors. Marshall presents a premium quality of lead line metal and veneer doors and hollow metal frames to match the appearance of architectural doors and frames. Marshall recommends welded style to knock down style for frames.